Hello, Robbie Strike here. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the difference between C-band satellite and KU-band satellite. A lot of people have asked me, what, are, what is the difference, but what is all the C-band and KU-band when it uh, comes to uh, the free satellite TV hobby? With C-band, that's typically the large old uh, dish, which is considered the older dish that you might have seen back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, that's like maybe a 10 foot, eight foot, 12 foot uh, dish. So C-band uh, is like the larger dish and KU-band is a smaller dish. It's just because the uh, waves, uh, the radio waves have a different pattern for between C and KU-band. So with KU-band, it allows you to receive signals on a smaller dish with, with C-band, you need a large dish uh, to be able to pick up the signals. So that's essentially what it is. Now, the differences between the two for channels, in North America, there's typically more channels on C-band than there is KU-band. And the reason for that is most of the channels that are on C-band are broadcast feeds for a lot of the digital sub subnets or cable systems uh, throughout North America. So what happens, and the reason why the broadcast industry prefers C-band to KU-band is mainly for reliability and the rain fade uh, factor. Uh, C-band tends to not have uh, interference in rain, where KU-band, if there's a lot of rain or weather conditions, uh, KU-band, which is a smaller, the smaller dish, tends to get more interference or dropouts. So the broadcast industry still uses C-band, and that's why there's a ton of uh, uh, backhauls for a lot of broadcast channels on C-band that you can tune in uh, if you're into the free satellite TV hobby because those channels are not encrypted and they're free, uh, free, free satellite TV channels. So that would be why C-band is more popular uh, for the hobby, but then it also the problem with it is having that large dish. Now you can still get channels with KU-band, uh, but there's a lot less channels on KU-band, but uh, there still is channels available. And it's just a matter of uh, finding out what you're looking for and what you want to pick up. But that typically is just the difference between C and KU-band. With a C-band dish, you can put an L a KU-band LMB on it, but you can't really put a C-band LMB on a, on a smaller KU-band dish because it won't be able to be, uh, the dish will not be large enough to um, reflect the signal and pick up the signal. So that's pretty much why most, uh, why you don't see uh, small C-band dishes. Now I have used a four foot dish to pick up C-band and it is possible, but you don't get uh, all the transponders uh, with as much signal, so it uh, doesn't really work as well. But it is possible to pick up some of the C-band signals on like a on like a smaller four-foot dish, which is even still pretty big for KU-band. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. So please uh, click on the link in the description of this video for more information about uh, satellite TV. I'm Robbie Strike, and please follow me on my social media platforms, find out more about uh, technology, free satellite TV, and all sorts of great technological savvy tips tech tips reviews on my video pages please give this video a like if you found it interesting subscribe 